Hello, this is Kyle Dallefeld with Prairie Creek Seed, and I'm going to do a brief overview on some alfalfa management strategy. One management consideration is frequency of harvest. Should you harvest every 25 to 28 days? This can provide more total yield by getting an extra cutting every year. However, it may shorten the life of your alfalfa stand. Cutting every 28 to 35 days can result in larger individual cuttings but the feed may have lower protein content. Longer cutting intervals can help with stand longevity. Our fall alfalfa management strategy should revolve on getting our stand through the winter as easily as possible. Your last cutting should be either taken early so that the alfalfa can regenerate its energy reserves or so late that the plant will not attempt to regrow. For most of the upper Midwest, this usually means getting our last cutting sometime in August or before September 1st or after a killing frost to avoid depleting the root reserves. We are frequently asked about what to do with a poor stand of alfalfa. Well, what is a poor stand of alfalfa? Oftentimes when I'm evaluating alfalfa stands, if it's a seeding year within a few months of seeding, I consider anything less than 15 plants per square foot uh, fairly poor seeding. After one year, less than eight plants per square foot, and any year after year one, um, I'm really looking at at least five to seven plants per square foot to have a final stand. If you're down in that two or three plants per square foot range, um, there, there could be some benefit to sprucing up your stand with an annual. If you can tell right away that your new seeding did not have a good take, you can drill more alfalfa into it. I've seen the best success with, with taking a drill into a poor initial seeding a few months post seeding with 10 to 14 pounds of additional alfalfa seed. Interseeding annual forages into a failing stand of alfalfa can be a great way to get an extra season out of your stand. Cool season options can be seeded in spring or early fall. Forages such as oats, annual ryegrass, or Italian ryegrass will work in this situation. Warm season forages will need to be planted around the 1st of June when soils are roughly 60 degrees or warmer. Sudan grass and millet are great options. Most of the mentioned forages will not make good dry hay. If dry hay is a necessity, you'll want to look at Tefka. Thank you for tuning in. Please comment below, email us, or call us with any questions. Thank you.